Tonight is a very special night for Friday the 13th. We have a guest DM. <laughs> oh, is this the 13th? I didn't even notice it was the yeah. 13th. Yeah. Observant one, I am. Alora has written a, uh, a little one shot that we're going to try and run tonight. Um, we do not have Toby or and by proxy Tizius, um, because they weren't up, they didn't feel up to coming, because they were in a car accident yesterday. Uh, mm -hmm. Um, they're okay though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. They're 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 okay, just probably shaken up and their car totaled and. Yikes. Yeah. So that happened yesterday. Um, and hopefully, since I see her active in the chat, B will be joining us, but we'll see. Um, and yeah, these are Alora's headphones because I'm about to swap out with her. Um, so I, I told you to close. Why did you not close? Yes. Um, so. Let me finish getting uh, stuff set up on my laptop right here for Alora, for reference. Because <laughs> I always have everybody's character sheets open. Yeah, oh. I'm going to have to have Ellen's character sheet open for sure. Yep. And Tizius and Candy, if you're not, if she doesn't join us. All right. I should probably go on Facebook more often. I don't, though. I really don't mess with Facebook ever, so. Literally, the only time I ever get on it is to see if there's a doll event. Which there is next week, so no. Yeah. Um, next Friday is our uh, doll outing, so we will not be having a session. Okay. It's generally the third Friday of the month, but... We do have a major holiday coming up. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just like Friday of this month, too. Oh. True. Mm, I mean, like, I want to say. All right, it's still only September. My bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's nearly Halloween, but not quite yet. Uh, uh, while we're on the subject, mm -hmm. yes, we do have a major holiday coming up. Halloween. Yeah. Rachel literally just said that. It's okay. You don't have, have you don't have audio. Yeah. I don't have audio. All right. So... so I am, yeah, and then, pull up Ayana there, alright, and for the combat tracker, mm -hmm. I have both of those, I have both of those sheets, mm -hmm. all you have to do when combat pops up mm -hmm. is to just little click this little eyeball. Okay. To make invisible. Alright. And uh, the play button starts the encounter. Mm hmm. And does the initiative. You can do the initiative. Okay. Click on the. In changes the. The person that's turn it is. And the. Uh, to modify HP. Click on the HP and positive number for damage, mm -hmm. negative for healing. Okay. And there's the division again. And yeah, there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and... <laughs> B. Alright, so. Laura's join the chat. She will after dinner. Okay. 
I am going to swap out with the Laura now, and I'm only going to take my goalie dice. Yeah, you can also use mine, but if they start to fail you, I definitely recommend having these on hand. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to use. I'm going to use. Yeah. So yeah. And my phone is on the couch. The mm -hmm. speaker is plugged in by the. Uh, yep. By the table. So. All right. So. Swapping out time. Yay! Oh my gosh, this is so awkward. Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yay! So yeah, this is kind of a little bit of a face reveal, those of you who are new. Hi! And the cats were sitting outside of my room. Of course they were! <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, tonight is um, my first time DMing, and we are doing a horror one shot that I like to call kind of all extravaganza. So, if everyone is set up and ready, I'm gonna wait for Nakira. So weird. <laughs> and it's already turning out to be disaster and we haven't even started yet. What's wrong? Oh, you know, because we've got an absence and uh, mm. and I for those of well, you who get the reference yeah, but for those of you who get the reference, I feel like I'm about to rip off a carry. So there's that. It's so weird seeing myself in the corner of the screen there. <laughs> Get used to it. Yeah. Alright, so I am almost set up. Yuki's kind of freaking out like, and Shannon, what Who are you doing in here? here? <laughs> no, no. Um, like, what are you doing in mom's chair? Normally she sits here on Friday nights. Normally she's a DM. What are you doing? Uh, but anyway, um, he's like usually she sits there all the time. Yeah, that's her spot. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So yeah. How do I turn the speaker on? That's what I have not been able to figure out yet. <laughs> Can it. you hear us okay? Power on. Bluetooth pairing. <laughs> Find your settings. Bluetooth. <laughs> oh gosh. Is this there we go. Weird. Yeah. Um. <sighs> so. Uh, shall we? I guess get started. This is so weird. Sure. <laughs> All right. So. The morning after your encounter with Elwyn's father and subsequently becoming 45,000 gold richer. <laughs> what a moment that was. <laughs> you awake to find that in the middle of the night during this festival, a tent, a big top, has suddenly appeared in the town square. Booths are set up around it selling fair foods and uh, different kinds of trinkets and carnival games. And just as fast as the big top appeared, so has another order on the hunt board. Hmm. That simply says, find Uncle Oscar.
What do you think? I'm still playing Elwyn, by the way. <laughs> so, Elwyn turns to you. What do you guys think? I think I have no clue who Uncle Oscar is. Well, might that's be, one way to find out. I can't hear you, sis. Clearly. Oh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> For some reason, it was being weird. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. Someone's audio playing in the background? My mom's watching the okay. TV. Ah. Bye. That, and I'm pretty sure she just got a phone call, too. Ah, so. yeah. Okay. Sorry, too. That art is so cute. Let me see if I can increase your volume, sis. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I okay. Um hang on. Um I have no idea how it works on desktop. Oh, you're right, right. Yeah. Just a second. I'll be right there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because okay. unless you're not talking, I can't hear you. I actually wasn't talking for a second. But... Okay. All right. Right click. You are on the. I'm. I'm on. I'm. I'm you today. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> Duh. I'm you today. <laughs> Right. Okay. Ears of volume. Thank you. Just a little bit. And you might have to turn turn me down in a minute because I'm not like immediately at the phone. Oh, that's true. I'll put you right about there for right now. I'm standing up while I'm setting up. While I'm setting stuff up. Okay. mouse and pull up OBS. Okay, there we go. Yuki, could you be any louder? <laughs> yes, I can. Okay, uh, Discord is putting into the uh... What'd you say? Okay, are you using um, the laptop for the stream or for Discord? I use the laptop for Discord. Don't use the laptop for Discord. <laughs> okay. I use my laptop for Discord. Okay. Give me... Okay, but you're using my phone for Discord. Yes, I am on your your phone for discord okay and are you using my laptop for the stream because you can do that yes okay and for uh other stuff i guess <laughs> anyway okay oh boy discord stuff on the laptop okay is why i have it up okay you can you, you have better uh, access with The Sims mm -hmm. by actually having being on The Sims. Yeah, I know. Wrong mouse. Yeah, 
obviously. But uh, click the uh, player view up real quick. Um, the the here. Yes, because Discord was cutting into it. Ah, okay. Sorry, guys. It cuts off the first letter of the names. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yuki. We got this. This is fine. We're all good. Yeah. Still trying to figure this out. Where did I put my neck? Okay, so you find out from asking around that Oscar is the person who is running the show Carnival Extravaganza, which had just come into town. the mystery. <laughs> Very rich and famous. Hmm. And it seems he has a very important assignment for you. All right. Well, I guess I'll find out what he wants. Hmm. All right. It seems... Very mysterious, but uh, who knows? It might be fun. Now, Ayana. Well, actually, not Ayana. Anahita. Yes. As you are walking toward Ayana has a rat on her shoulder. This is absolutely hilarious to you. You start to giggle. Okay, that's really weird. <laughs> Candy. Anahit is laughing. That's hilarious. You have no idea why. It just is. I did not like this carnival. <laughs> Elwyn's just staring at you both like, what is on? Oh, goddess. Don't tell me. Mm. Mm. No, no. Fine, it's fine. The odds of that are astronomical. Everything is fine. Why am I laughing? Why are they laughing? Why are you laughing? Okay, your laptop just went dark. Touch it. Touch the mouth. Come back up. And you see this woman. She's obviously working with the carnival. Are you okay? Anahita just shakes her head as so if she's still laughing, like, no! <laughs> okay, and you take a closer look at her. She's a very serene-looking young woman. She's got 
red, bright red hair, shaved down to a pixie cut. Um, her skin was wearing sort of a belly dancer outfit and all blues and grays. It was covered in full sleeve tattoos. Ooh. Um, she's got very high cheekbones, these gorgeous, gorgeous black eyes that you could easily get lost in them. They're so deep and rich and beautiful. And she's holding a sword. Are you looking to see the show? Sort of. <laughs> Not quite. You must be the adventurers. I'm Georgia. And he sees introducing me and Titius and Ayana and two little rats, which he kind of pats on the head. So what do you do here? Ah, oh, yes. Well, um, I'll show you. And then she swings her sword around and then holds it to her mouth. Now, when I give you the signal, and you'll know, grab this sword and gently, gently, and then she tilts her head back and swallows the blade. And then she over at the waist towards Andy. Oops. and wink. I just lost audio. <laughs> and you guys hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you need to, you can reset my phone. All right. I think the playlist just. The playlist is doing fine. If you need to come back in here, you can. Alright, 
let's try this now. Where'd you move to? I had to... Okay, I lost half of what you said. I thought that time, bro. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, technology. If it works, it's great, but it doesn't... Yeah. Only now I'm getting anxious because, um... It means my phone is... being a complete shit right now, and it's starting to freak me out. I have no idea what she's about to do. Or don't. That's fine. It's just being a POS. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, hopefully there won't be a. Okay. So long mouse again. Yeah. That'll happen. Okay. The volume volume, not the... Okay, yeah. The computer volume, because that's what I turned down. Okay. So, computer volume, where's... It's on this. Okay. I lost the cursor there for a minute. Okay. What do you have it? I usually have it at 100%. Okay. All right. Can you pass? Yep. Okay, good. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so, um, as I was saying, she bends at the waist toward Candy and winks. I guess that's the signal? I would assume so. I also would assume I she guess. can't talk when she's in this situation. Mm. Candy, do you want to try it? Sure. <laughs> sure. And she gingerly takes the sword and pulls. Until it is out of her mouth. <sighs> that was fun, right? <laughs> and Candy's just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tizius is, of course, staring at her in horror. <laughs> yeah, that's about Anahita's reaction to him. Just like, you stuck a sword down your throat. That's not normal. <laughs> Ellen kind of looks at all of you, takes a sword, and takes his thumb and literally just runs it along the blade, pulls it away. Nothing. It's not sharp. Hmm. That's all right. Sword swallowers don't usually swallow sharp blades unless they have a death wish. Yes, that would be dangerous. I didn't know that. Click on the. Oh, right. Sorry. Oh. Wrong mouse. Hey. Do I need to take the black mouse away? Yes, take the black <laughs> mouse away, please, so I'm not confused. I will take the PlayStation mouse away. At least you haven't <laughs> tried to type. Tried to type with the. Yeah. No, that would be dumb, wouldn't it? On the, with that one, at the very least, it, when it's plugged in and on, it lights up. Mm -hmm. There's no way to turn off the backlight. Mm. Which is fun, but 
I love my I love my gaming keyboard. Okay. Yes, and the practice has um, enabled me to do. I would say eliminate pretty much gag reflex in certain situations. Okay, about that. Um, we're looking for <laughs> Uncle Oscar. Oh, he's right. Follow me. And she leads you to a caravan off to the side. Just a little bit away from the big. And inside, it's You hear very scratchy, but it sounds like there is a full band in the caravan. You go inside and you see this frightening looking contraption. It's a small spinning sort of wheel that's got what looks like a needle in one of the groups on it. Interesting. Anyway. Huh. And this big sort of flower thing coming out of the top. And it's all mounted on this box. This place is really weird. <laughs> yes. And Uncle Oscar is a collector of many rare and wonderful oddities. This is called a phonograph. Okay. It's able to record and play music on this. He points to the wheel, which has sort of this green lacquered thing on it which is a which is made of wax and covered by lacquer it's really the next big thing you can see the thing everywhere in the future and at that moment uh gentle dignified gentleman wearing the traditional ring mask costume comes out from behind a curtain. He's got a he's he looks to be about mid forties, light tan, almond shaped blue eyes, jet black hair that's slicked back under his top hat, and uh, very well-trimmed, elegant mustache. He's tall, supposed to be human. And the first words out of his mouth, Welcome to the Carnival Extravaganza. Hi, Uncle Oscar. And he gives an extravagant bow. It is very nice to meet all of you. Please tell me you are the adventurers. Um, I suppose so. Um... Yes? Do you have a problem? I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. First, let me show you the rest of the show. And he takes you on a grand tour of the carnival extravaganza. And you know, all typical circus acts, you acrobats and jugglers, and I think you see some animals, but it turns out to be just Beast shaping druids doing tricks while they're in beast shape. Yeah. And animal cruelty is. Hmm. But yeah, just offhand comment. I just, as they walk around, notice that they're druids. Candy, why don't you ever? Why don't you ever be shaped? Because I can't yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, she can't. 
yet she doesn't know how. But as you are taking the tour, you notice that several of these performers are not quite right. It takes you a moment, but you realize they're dead. They've been brought back to life as zombies and skeletons. And they're doing all of the standard circus acts, just some of them are falling apart while they do it. Uh, is that normal? That's not... What did you say, Anahita? Is that normal? <laughs> Literally, I'm afraid it is. Something has been killing and eating our performers. Until I can find suitable replacements, yes. I have a time to because, you know, running a circus is very busy work. I'm not volunteering as a replacement. <laughs> And I'm pretty much useless to you anyway because I have no sense of direction. <laughs> it's true. Oh. We're not asking for much. We just need this thing, thing our performers dealt with. We're losing money, losing customers. And we're losing our beloved friends. <laughs> Killing things we can do. I like the stabbing. It sounds basic enough. Find what's killing your performer. Deal with it. Ayana. <laughs> One of the skeletons that's been killing just got hit in the face with a bowling pin. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Owen, Ayana's laughing. He starts laughing too. <laughs> I, I, I am so sorry. Um, uh, all right. Um, oh, we find this thing, kill it. And then what? Oh, we are prepared to pay handsomely for your trouble. won't be necessary, but we appreciate it nonetheless. Just got a for insulin, though, practically, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can... Come on. Rachel. <laughs> Sorry, it's not you, it's Probably yeah. the computer. Well, it's fine. Because I know I don't usually have any issues with my headphones. Yeah. Oh, and uh, you're going to need these. And he just picks up a box from behind the stage and plops it into your hand. In this box are 10 potions of greater healing. Okay. Okay then. Just as a precaution. All right. That'll, well, that'll help. I won't run it that way. I won't run out of healing spells. Yeah. Yeah, same with me. And so, what exactly are we going to be fighting? Well, I would be able to tell you. We had someone fight this thing on their own. My strongman, Giuseppe, and about five or six of my strongest performers. They did not make it. And he starts crying again. It's okay, we'll take care of it. <clears throat> like, I, I, I 
Ariana is just like, why is she so emotional? I get it, but why? Why are you like this? I'm sorry. I love my performers so much. I take such pride in them. I love them like family. Hmm. Got it. Oh, uh, here, it just leaves over to. Oh, uh, what is like. Is he trying to pull some scam? <laughs> if he was trying to pull a scam, he would have pulled it already. Alright. <laughs> we will figure this out. We promise. Very good. I know the last location. He's coming up. And he draws out a map for you. And for Ellen, he writes down <laughs> directions like go <laughs> and take a left at this landmark. Yeah. Uh, that probably won't help, but good luck. <laughs> Alright, so. So. When you exit the city, you start to feel like you're being followed, and there's a tiny, tiny thing in the bushes. Hmm. Does anybody want to check it out? Yeah, I'll take a look. <laughs> it's full and horribly. Make a perception check. <laughs> oh, that's a 12. <laughs> it's probably not going to hurt you. It's a bunny. Aww. And the bunny pops out of the of the bushes and looks up at you, kind of sniffs. Hi! Somebody <laughs> <laughs> can talk. Ahita just screamed. Tizi, Candy, Ayana, Elwin. That's hilarious! And then, okay, so, and this, the squeaky voice that asked why you were laughing earlier is just like, really, guys? You turn around. Chule. Chule is tall. And so is this rabbit. What is going did on someone, here? Did someone spike my drink? <laughs> Make an Arcana check. Arcana. Oh, that's terrible. Arcana, you too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I already know. Ah, uh, 13! Okay. <laughs> we'll work our way up slowly. For a full of what? <laughs> 13. <laughs> 13. Um, there are spells and other sort of effects that can make animals talk. You're not sure which but it is definitely hey. something. Uh, was 16. <laughs> she gleans about the same. Elwyn suddenly speaks up. <clears throat> <clears throat> if you will permit me. Such giggling talking animals we are within a mile of the lair of a copper dragon uh is that normal with them i've never really gone near a dragon before quite normal with them okay copper dragons are of the dragon kind. 
enjoy jokes. And their magic tends to reflect that. Okie dokie. And a circus randomly appears out of nowhere. Hmm. 50 gold says it's the ringmaster. <laughs> 50 gold also says it's the ringmaster. Candy for a moment. 50 gold says it's Jordana. <laughs> I. Okay. <sighs> so we possibly just got hired by a dragon. Possibly. But what he says is what he said was the truth. If he was busy taking care of his show and the other performers, he wouldn't have to go after this creature himself. Whatever it might be. Fun. So we get to go to go with it. Yay! <laughs> Don't be too bad. Good job. Size is fun at the rabbit. Is it? Is it true? Like, is there a drug around here? If you want to find him, you're going the wrong direction. We're not looking for the dragon at this exact moment. We're looking for whatever's left them performers. Oh, that's that way. Okay. Great. <laughs> Onward. Okay, see you later. And the rabbit hops away back toward the town. Hi, Yuki. <laughs> it's Cody, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Definitely weird. Okay, so after about two hours, you come to the place. and his comrade made their last stand and it was a bloody bodies bones and broken equipment scattered around the, the area. entire area yeah These guys have been ripped. One of them has even been turned to stone. One with no visible marks on his body. Hmm. But they did not go down without a fight. They're still clutching their weapons like vices. Roll me a check. <laughs> I see nothing. Do better than me. <laughs> yeah. is plus three. I wouldn't have had to uh, 
controlled for Elwyn because he got the dagger of warning. Actually, you wouldn't have had to. Oh, neither would Ayana because she has a. Uh... She has a shield. The creature is still here, most definitely. Oh dear. And it just sniffed you. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Like, don't think we're alone. Suddenly, you hear a high, high-pitched, sadistic laughter, like that belonging to something truly evil. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Let me do this. I'm the DM tonight. I know. <laughs> well, this is an example of what you were describing. Yep. <laughs> and then you see flashworks, calliope music starts playing. And up from one of the rocks. Here's a beholder. Still laughing gleefully. Gaudy white face paint covering his face. Painted over his eye and all of the eye stalks which have these ruffled cuffs around them. And one. Plastic nose under the eye. Uncle Oscar just sent you to fight a clown. Evil. <laughs> well, if I wouldn't have played a clown before, it's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's Ogo! It's showtime! Everyone roll initiative. Oh. Anahita, what's your initiative? sword, brandish her shield, and rush in and stabby stabby.
initiative order. Okay. Okay. She tries, tries valiant, but doesn't, doesn't do it. Okay, the next one. Press in. Next up is Elwyn. <laughs> and just go to conjure up his sling blade. Okay, like, oh, look, I'm like, oh, she bags first half. Oh, okay. this thing. Two actions. Let's go. Okay, yeah. That was a natural 15. Uh, what is a modifier? Doesn't make um, <laughs> So that's going to be... Where is it? Oh, yeah. Immediately. Horror, I believe. shape. And as it starts to power up, pop, 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 psh, it's gone. Nothing happens. She saw it, she saw it pull her shield up. Noise. Stupid. And keep fighting. And that is his first. Start off with the dagger. <laughs> Go for it. Yes, very good. Hit. That hits. Four, seven regular damage and five. Out. So, yep. I sneak because Ellen didn't move away behind. That's another <laughs> nice. And I on a dagger. Is Pogo. <laughs> And anti magic cone down. And he is going to direct his attack at Tizius. I also. Good thing, too, because that was an eight. <laughs> and I'm rolling a D so what, ha what happens on 8 is not pretty <laughs> and then he is going to attack at okay. oh, that same starts to form around the eye that tried to go after I but fizzled 
and then okay and Elwin needs to make a dexterity saving throw which character sheet He well makes it. <laughs> and good thing too, because that I beam actually works. <laughs> and he just barely managed to get out of the way. And next up is Tom. Next up is Titius. Alright. Alright, gonna eat his axe. He does. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna put this up because I have to Okay, that's gonna be. And the axe slams into this beholder creature and deals with the damage on it. Oh, okay. Demi does. 1d8 plus 6. Oh. Nine points of damage. And he's gonna go again. Correct. And what's the modifier on that one? What's the modifier? Sorry. His modifier is pretty easy. Really high. Yeah, that's gonna hit. He rolled a. He rolled. And his modifier is plus eight. So here we go again. Mm -hmm. Oh no, wait. That's gonna be easy, right? Yeah, D6. Y'all are waylaying on this thing. <laughs> I think I might have made it on you. I was thinking last, 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 the rat. The rat, the rat, the rat, the rat, the rat. She went fashion. Eat from... Ooh, that's gonna hit. Because her modifier is, uh... Yeah. Go damage. <laughs> Four plus five. All right. she went nice. So, or one one of his busted eyes. One of his not busted eyes. One of the busted ones. Okay, it's already weak. I know. That would be a zapper. <laughs> it can try, but it won't. Exactly. Yeah. Use just have some efficiency. It won't work. Yeah. Out. Hmm. The modifier for it is plus six. Okay. She's actually never seen her do before. She is going to cast <laughs> It's Which is 2d12. That's all the damage. Well, actually, uh, I need... He'll need to make save, which is not listed. His hey, so her. Don't say The show uh, throw. Is the same throw. Okay, very top, very top of the list. Yeah, intelligence and charisma. So I would say be a plus four because his uh, modifiers. Yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately, he. Because DC is 14, not all that great. But worry not, because she can still summon up her uh, thorn with. And she's going to attack. And misses, unfortunately. Andy. And yeah, dice is grounded. He is going to use action to attack. <laughs> no, he's not. That's the top. The definition of insanity is trying the same thing over, hoping for a different result. <laughs> what do you think I was seeing? You're a he's, he's a clown. Why did I expect anything different? Speaking of, Ayana. Okay. 
I is going to spell it. It's already led to the actions back. <laughs> Alright, next one. It won't be back until his turn. It's up here with his own face. I'm going to need a DC 15 wisdom check. Okay, I'm um, dead. <laughs> and that, I'm gonna like, yeah. No damage. She's going, she is, she does have her two actions, so she's going to assist. The sound's just like, gong. And her is going to be... You're grounded. Uh, <laughs> Ladies, uh, go ahead. Uh, right. um, this one? No. It's in there somewhere. I'll grab this one. There you go. Yeah. Get me down. Yeah, I have a tendency to use the board on both these, but we'll see how it goes. So it is her turn. And her turn going to attack. To immediately pops it out. And, and again, yeah, playing blade. And that is going in because seventeen. And six. That is also going to hit, because I'm pretty sure that is in six, six. Here we go again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirteen damage. And here comes the action, because restation is a thing. Eight, nine, eight. <laughs> again. No. Your turn. Go for it. <laughs> what, what? Don't count your chickens just yet. What'd you roll? Two. <laughs> oh, what the heck? My action. Nope. <laughs> I don't think that hits either. Ground the dog. It's grounded. Nebula. <laughs> no, no, no. I want to. I keep trying. Right, is that going to be your turn? turn? Yeah. All right, let's pull his attention on you. Anti-magic is anti-magic cone is up. It's a good thing. <laughs> and he is a and that's <laughs> Anana Hita. <laughs> and he his block. Stop moving around. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Tizius up now. He's going to be. And it's right there, and that is a miss. No matter, I'm gonna try it again. And it's yeah. so the damage, is and that is seven points of damage. Not a hit. When you enter Tysius, and Tysius will need to make a interesting throw. Death saves. Kill you when you get someone. Here, who it is? <laughs> Next up is the He is going to go num 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 on his eye stalk. And that is... Which one? One of the intact ones? Or... Alright, let me know which one. How much? So, yeah, 12 points. Yeah. And that is the Okay, yeah. Um, the fourth stalk on this creature's head. Blue all light. That one is the now it's turn. Candy is going to it's in here. Is going to uh, This would work against him. Is she in the night call? I think she might be. It just fans out. Is that right? All right, so we're going right now. So she is going to use her set. Yeah. And so 
first round, do it again. Hit this time. And four. B points of damage. But it's very annoying. Except for Liana. <laughs> Thank you. 